Now, I don't care where you are, whether it's the Great Lakes or Lake of the Woods, anywhere, weather comes up. And I was, as outdoorsmen, we can see it coming. And, and you look at it and you wonder. You say, I wonder what that is. I wonder how big it is. I wonder how severe it is. But I can see it coming. And with a, a program like the XM Weather on the Hummingbird Unit, we can instantly go there and punch it up and see exactly what we're dealing with. Yeah, yeah. And we know, hey, you know what? It's just some rain, let's fish. Or you know what? It might be a thunderstorm. Let's get off the water. Let's take shelter. But it's an instant, instant retrieval of data that tells you how you should react to what you see coming. A lot of people think of weather as being unpredictable. Well, it is and it isn't. Some weather patterns can be quite predictable. In the spring and summer, about every three to five days or so, northwest winds blow down out of Canada. These are the leading edge of a steady train of fronts that roll through eastern Wisconsin. These fronts produce a series of prevailing offshore winds. All through the summer, you get conditions where you get a few days of offshore winds, and what happens is it blows all that warm surface water out and it pushes on the other side of the lake, and that coldest water that's at the bottom of the lake comes up on the shore that the wind's blowing from. So you get real cold water, and it's instantaneous. The bait comes in, and the salmon follow them. It's not a trickle in. So if you say a few days of, of offshore winds, you're going to have cold water, and the bait and the salmon are going to show up right then. It happens all through the summer. You'll see shore fishermen. The piers will be empty for days and days and days. They know they've got warm water in there. All of a sudden, a couple days of offshore winds, and the piers are full, and these guys are jamming on salmon. Wind is a complex part of the angling equation. For warm water species like bass, walleyes, and muskies, fishermen prefer moderate wind blowing onto the underwater structures they're fishing. The reason? Wind concentrates plankton, activates bait fish, and in turn, shallow feeding. Throughout the summer in the Great Lakes, onshore wind piles up warm water that pushes the salmon out because they're a cold water species. Hard offshore wind brings upwellings of cold water, enabling salmon and trout to feed shallow. You know, I spend a lot, I mean a lot of time chasing these salmon around from shallow water to deep water. And over the years I've developed this theory about open water predators. And what they do is they like to eat. And so they choose to eat in areas where they can eat as much as they can as quickly as they can. So my theory is that whenever they get the opportunity, they want to feed, there he is, ooh, I lost him. <laughs> they want to feed in as shallow water as possible because what it does is it compresses the vertical distance that they need to feed in. In 100 feet of water, they can, they can feed anywhere from the top to the bottom. In 30 feet of water, there's a lot less room to cover and they can eat a lot more, a lot faster. And when given that opportunity, that's what they prefer to do. So when you get cold water coming into the shallow water like this, those fish follow it. They want to be there. They want to be as shallow as they can because they want to compress that vertical distance that they have to feed in. 